Welcome to MRS Bulletin's Materials News Podcast, providing breakthrough news and interviews with researchers on hot topics in materials research. My name is Laura Lay. Piezoelectric materials have a variety of applications, and one of them is in tissue engineering. Electrical stimulation is an effective way of promoting neural regeneration in relation to spinal cord injuries, and usually requires the use of wired connections. A new fabrication process can produce biocompatible piezoelectric materials, which can provide wireless electrical stimulation in response to mechanical action. We came across this new application for using piezoelectric materials in tissue engineering, and we started looking into how we can design these materials specifically for tissue engineering applications. That was Dr. Hameda Kanberi from the University of Bath in the UK. Her research has previously shown that two processes can be combined to both activate piezoelectric particles and to get the particles to align. While the matrix is in the liquid, uncured state, she applied an alternating current which leads to the diaphoretic structuring, as well as direct current, to induce polling. The composite's piezoelectric properties can be tailored simply by changing the DC polling field during in-situ polling dielectrophoresis. This in-situ method was first developed by Dr. Canberra during her own PhD and has been further refined by Dr. Vlad Jarkov, supervised by Dr. Canberra during his studies at the University of Bath, so that consistent batches of the material can be produced. So we wanted a consistent 10, 20 samples because cells are very sensitive. So you want samples that are exactly the same in terms of surface topology, thickness, modulus, like different kinds of mechanical properties and the the way that which we scaled up the process is is also pretty unique uh, in that we can now make loads of consistent materials you don't really have to worry about variation between samples and that's particularly important in cell work. Potassium sodium niobate is a piezoelectric material compatible with cell lines that are similar to neurons. Combining this with polydimethyl siloxane resulted in a composite with a softness similar to that of neurons. The ratio of these two components was optimised to produce a material of the required stiffness. Vlad worked with researchers at Keele University in the UK to understand how the composite material would interact with neural stem cells. He saw that stem cells bound to the surface of the material, but also noticed that activation of the piezoelectric component had an interesting effect. In the inactive composite, so the unpolled, um, we saw balling of cells which meant that the cells preferred to bind to each other rather than to spread out on the surface, which is kind of an indicator that the surface is not ideal. But with the polled composites, they actually spread nicely, which meant that the piezoelectrically activated composites did something, we assume it's you know the piezoelectric surface charge that, that allowed them to better spread across the surface. Vlad looked at three different types of cell lines, neurons and two types of cells that act as supports. Particularly in the positively polled materials, we saw an increase in the amount of neurons that were being produced without actually decreasing the amount of the supporting oligodendrocytes and astrocytes. Usually, the use of piezoelectric materials in tissue engineering requires mechanical stimulation from either movement of the body or the application of ultrasound. In this research, no additional mechanical stimulation was required. The fact that we saw this residually happening on the surface is either because there's some sort of, you know, stimulation from the cells moving on the surface or during culture. It kind of implies that milder mechanical stimulation might even be sufficient. These initial results are encouraging and further work can test out these ideas. The next stage for Dr. Canberra's research group is to look at other methods to regenerate the central nervous system, including topological structuring and the inclusion of growth factors. She also has an open PhD position to conduct in vivo work and will also look to add antimicrobial properties to the piezoelectric composite. What is striking about this already published work is the close collaboration between disciplines, which led to some really strong research. We were lucky enough to get in touch with neuroscientists that uh, enable this project. It's always exciting to collaborate with people in different fields and kind of get a different perspective because it makes a much stronger research in general. Like working with Chris Adams and Iman in in Kiel meant that um, not only was the material side great in the paper, but the biological side was great because we always had that feedback. This work was published in a recent issue of Advanced Engineering Materials. 
My name is Laura Lay from the Materials Research Society. For more news, log on to the MRS Bulletin website at mrsbulletin.org. Follow us on Twitter at MRS Bulletin. Don't miss the next episode of MRS Bulletin Materials News. Subscribe now. Thank you for listening.